We'll be at the landing by 6 o'clock, and I'll try to get him onto a truck. If we miss the train, we'll have to drive all the way. We mustn't drive too fast. He's lost a lot of blood. This. Never mind, Olive. We'll catch the train. Then it won't be so rough. Goodbye, Alec. They'll fix you up at the hospital. Goodbye. Lenny, remember to get that cold in before it gets too cold. We'll remember that, all right. Don't you worry about that. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye. Look after your mother. Home soon. If only it wasn't so far and so rough. difference between life and death. This is what the air ambulance service means to thousands of people in rural Saskatchewan today. Once again, in the great tradition of aviation, the plane is being used to serve human needs as mercy flights are made to all parts of the province in all seasons. Pneumonia, polio, perforated ulcer, heart failure. In the first month, 42 critically ill people were brought in. And in the first two years of service, 1,000 cases were flown in comfort to city hospitals. Good equipment and trained staff give the patients the best possible chance of recovery. The air service functions from a main center of operation at Regina. Starting with one plane, the service has grown to three. There is an office in the airport building where emergency calls are answered day and night. Two miles northeast of Toxford, a half a mile west of the buildings, White House, Black Roof. Large barn, four granaries, shelter belt on north and south sides. Okay. This man organized the service in 1945, drawing from practical experience gained during five years in the RCAF. The flight nurses have experience in wartime services. This man flew supplies to the troops in Burma in 1945 and is an expert in parachuting equipment to ground stations. Pilots, nurses, engineers. The staff has seen overseas service and every member has been schooled to the needs of emergency flying and operation. While still in the air, the pilot is able to radio for an ambulance whose crew are trained in first aid. Engineers and mechanics have several years' service behind them, are expert in checking planes for flight. Working out of Regina, these crews serve the southern half of Saskatchewan. The planes fly at a thousand feet or less, so that changing air pressure will not affect the patients. The pilots answer emergency calls over 160 million acres, serving the 70% of Saskatchewan's people who live on isolated farms and villages. In an hour or less, a 
patient is flown from a remote lumber camp or an isolated farm to hospitals in Saskatoon, Regina, or Prince Albert. 800 miles by air from the south to the north. Over the northern bush, lake, and rock region, the service is carried on with freighter planes, operated as a public service. Pilots are ex-servicemen, former bush pilots. They know the North, its lure and its hazards, and they carry patients as well as supplies in and out of northern outposts. And so the air ambulance service functions in two halves, from Prince Albert in the North and from Regina in the South. Okay, that's fine. We'll try to get in there, but if we can't make it, will you have someone meet us wherever we land? Fifteen minutes after an emergency call has come in, the plane is usually in the air. A woman has taken ill suddenly on a farm in the parklands. The pilot spots a coal bin, one of his landmarks. It's about four miles west of here. Watch for smoke. What's the matter with her? They don't know. She got sick all of a sudden. This is rough country, full of hummocks, clumps of trees, small pastures. It's not easy to find a place for landing. He's going right past. Don't like the look of this. We'll fly over again and give it another check. The planes fly low. They need three or four hundred yards for landing. The pilot watches for a reasonable runway, clear of stones, roots, and other obstacles. He hopes people on the ground will point out obstructions not visible to him and clear away any obstacles. He's bothered about this hay loader. He wants us to move the loader. Okay, come on, boys. Finally, he relies on his experience and judgment to find firm ground beneath him. They'll fix her up all right. We'll have her in the hospital within an hour. Is that true, Daddy? Yes, son. She'll be there within the hour. If we hadn't been able to get the plane, I don't know what we'd have done. She'll be all right, won't she, Dad? Don't worry. She'll be home soon. When a man gets hurt in a place like this, 
There's no way to get him out except by plane. Dave's real sick, Joe. I think it's his appendix burst from the look of it. The pain stopped suddenly and there's inflammation. What's on the small truck? Just the tools and some small cables. I'll take them off. Slip over the fire ranger and have him radio PA for a plane. We got to get him out of here fast. OK. Hey, Sam. Panic's emergency. Radio PA for a plane. Tell him to land on the lake about a mile east of camp and watch for a smudge on the beach. Tell him to make it snappy. OK. We'll take you down to the lake. Plane is coming. Okay. We're lucky the wind's in the right direction. There it is. That must be the pole camp now. He'll be able to see this smoke for 10 miles. Funny how I can never get used to the idea of sitting down on a sunken log or a bunch of rocks. Anytime you do, you'll be flying without me. Pile them on. Here she comes. How are you now, Dave? Any pain? We, oui. No pain. Uh, you'll be in hospital in an hour. I told Woody to phone for a doctor and let him know. Thanks. Have you ever been up before, Mac? No. Nothing to it. Just like lying in your bunk. bad. I don't know. Anna just ran in to tell me. Will you call Dr. Jordan while I drive out to the field? All right. 
He's badly hurt, Jean. Squashed between the tractor and the one-way. You phone. I'll go back to him. All right. Get Dr. Jordan to call the air ambulance, Mary. It's serious. He's caught between the tractor and the one-way disc. Oh, hurry, Mary. He was backing her up, and she just kept on coming. I was across the field in the truck. What do we do to get him out of there? You drive the tractor forward, and I'll lower him down. where he'll get the best of care. It's all right, dear. might be a ruptured kidney, internal injuries, excessive loss of blood. The comfort and ease of travel by plane ensures maximum chance of recovery. Just an hour ago, out near Tuxford. Lucky we got him so quickly. At an Indian mission, a boy has a gangrenous arm. Maybe you'll come back. Go right up front, eh, son? Well, I see ya. The plane gets him to hospital in an hour. Any other transportation would take days. There's a train down there. Ever see a train before? The air ambulance service in Saskatchewan brings security to thousands of people, gives them new hope. Loved ones return home. Commissaire, me such qui wapate. You come back, you see many things. Life resumes its course once again. My, how nice you all look. I have something for each of you. What was it like, Miss Plain, Mother? Why, I don't know, Johnny. I wasn't awake. Oh, gee, I know. I forgot. But one thing I do know, the plane is safe and fast. And it got me to the hospital quickly, and now I'm well again. <laughs> 